What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video on this channel. So as you guys already know, I've been using this OnePlus Nord since quite some time now and there are certain things that bother most of us. So one of them is this jitter or lag in some apps, even on 90Hz mode. And as I've already routed my device to measure all of it for you guys, I can confirm that YouTube runs on 60Hz because of course there are no 90Hz videos. But even for scrolling we have only 60Hz refresh rate. And due to that it does feel kind of weird as it isn't taking full advantage of this 90Hz refresh rate. Because that 90Hz option is sort of adaptive and the frames drop to 60 or even lesser to save battery. But I did achieve this 90Hz smooth scrolling in YouTube and other apps too. And no, I did not spend anything on any app as some of you were speculating. Well basically there are two ways to achieve this and no you will not modify or root your device or anything like that. So nothing that will harm your device and you can take a deep breath and proceed further. Well the first way is to use adb command and to achieve this you need a pc of course and this hardly takes like 5 minutes. So first of all download the adb drivers in case you don't have them installed in your pc. And to make things easy for you I'll attach them in the link in description area. So just download it and extract the zip file in any folder on your PC. Now connect your device to PC and enable USB debugging in developer options. In case you don't know where they are, simply tap on build number in about phone 8 times and you will get this option in your settings. Now in your PC, just go to address bar and type cmd and this will open command prompt. Remember to follow this as shown or else you will get some errors. Now just copy paste the commands mentioned in description area, so paste it and hit the enter button and you are all set. Now just open the YouTube application on your device and you can feel the absolute smoothness while scrolling. And as you can see the refresh rate is now set to 90 fps. So it does feel great to use and all your apps will be able to use this refresh rate. But make sure to not touch the refresh rate option in settings. Let them stay as is and no matter if you reboot or anything, the device will stay in 90hz only. And don't worry, going back to default settings is even easier. But if you want this option back, you will have to follow the above process again. Now to go back to default settings as they were before, just go to refresh rate options in settings. And now choose the refresh rate you want and the device will be back to whatever settings they were before. Nothing more has to be done and you can verify the same on YouTube application on your device. So it is back to 60Hz now and all is well. So that is how you can go back to your default refresh rate. But if you don't feel like doing this process every single time, then we have another option. And you can use this application called AutoHertz from the Google Play Store. And using this application, you can set per app refresh rates. That's right, you can control each individual application. But this app will cost you around 85 rupees, so close to a dollar, which isn't that much. And some of you will comment that they got it for free. So please try not to do that in comment section. Now to use this application you need a PC but it is a one time process as it needs some permission. So just like you did above, copy the command mentioned in description area or application and paste it in CMD and now hit enter. Now start the application and you are good to go. So choose the refresh rate per app that is 60 or 90 hertz and the device will automatically set it to that refresh rate. It is really simple to use this application as you won't have to use adb command every single time. So totally up to you to decide which method works best for you. And resetting the apps back to default refresh rate is also quite easy using this app. And it gives you more freedom as per the situation. So I find this small option really handy in using this device to its full potential. Anyways that's it for now. Do give this video a thumbs up if it helps you out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.